So uh, today I'm going to do a Ethanor manual um, expansion tool review for you so you can get an idea if you're going to use PEX. Personally, I like the Ethanor, the ProPEX brand. Um, I first started using this stuff when I worked for a plumber in high school back in the late 90s. So this tool, there's electric uh, Milwaukee tool, which is really good also, but this was on Craigslist. It's the manual version. And for half and three quarter, it's, it's pretty easy to use. For the one inch, it's a bit harder. It's more of a workout. And then for the inch and a half, which is what my water main is going to be coming through the house, I'll rent the tool from the tool store. Just a word on um, where to buy your fittings and stuff. Check your local place first. Mine, uh, Camellia Northwest or Ferguson, whatever it's called now. The prices were almost double what Supply Warehouse charges online, so, or Supply House. So I ordered a lot of these things on Supply House and then um, went to another pipe fitting store locally to get a better deal. The Ferguson, even though I'm a contractor, wouldn't give me pricing unless I set up an account and float enough um, volume through their account. And there's no way I'm ever gonna be able to do that. So just too small for that. So this tool, it's got this expanding head that basically, that doesn't expand, but it pulls it back, which expands these heads. It's a half inch head. Spins on when it's open. And then when you expand it, it expands. Very easy tool to maintain. Every so often grab a rag, wipe that off. Take the supply of grease, put a dab on there, spread it around. Wipe your hands off so you don't get anything on your fittings. Then install your expander. You're ready to go to work. So for this, you take a half inch pipe. These come with little stops on them. There's a tiny little stop inside one end. Use that, slip it over your pipe. Expand it with your expander. And then these, most fittings like this is a reducer, will have a stop. Push it all the way to the stop. T's, 90's, whatever. They all have a built-in stop also, you can see right there. So push it into there. It's very easy to plumb with these. Um, and I went with the plastic fittings over the brass because the brass has questionable uh, manufacturing locations, China and whatnot, it's got a lot of impurities in it. And uh, the reviews online said they weren't lasting. So that's that. Get yourself uh, some pipe. And you can go to town doing simple plumbing jobs like this. It's very fast. So you've got your half inch feed line here for a hot water or for a washer. I have a reducer from three quarter to half. Personally, I'm running as large a size as possible to the end run so I have as much water supply as possible. So I'll have a one inch supplying most all the other fittings in the, and then it will reduce down. So here we have one inch that's going up to the hot water heater and um, we'll tee off of here with a one inch to half inch or tee that'll come and feed the toilet there. So just a brief introduction, enjoy. 